Hi everybody! Hi Hedgehogs! Hi CDC! Shalom Chaverim! Happy Pesach! Happy Passover! I'm going to show you how to make haroset today. Haroset is one of the things we eat at Seder and it's sweet and delicious. I'm going to do this really fast. I've kind of pre-cut everything. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to move the camera and show you what we have here. All of the pieces and parts that are going to go into our ferocet. I can do this with one hand. Okay, we're going to have an apple. We have um, dried apricot, which I love. Uh, I love all of these, actually. This is a date. We have raisins, uh, a dried plum, craisins, those are cranberries, chopped walnuts. This is what the walnut looks like, and these are all chopped and um, then a little squeeze of lemon is what's gonna go in there as well. And then over here, we have our wine or grape juice. We just need a little bit. We have honey, and I like to put rose water in mine. I know most people probably don't have rose water, and that's okay. You can skip that part. Okay, so I need to remove Zing because he doesn't go in the carousel. Say hi, Zing. Zing is new at our house. He doesn't know the rules yet. He's not allowed on the counter. Okay, I have my bowl with apples in it. I already chopped up my apple. I peeled my apple with a peeler, and then I chopped my apple with my knife. That's for moms and dads to do. You can also do all this in the food processor if you want a really fine, um, sort of smooth haroset. This is going to be more chunky. So I've got my apples in here. I squeezed a little bit of lemon on it to help from keeping them turning too brown. And I just give it a little mix. Mix that up. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my craisins. Put them right in here. Yummy, yummy craisins. And my dried plums or prunes. Put them right in. And then my raisins. I'm not giving you quantities. You can look up whatever recipe you like. And you should know that, really, you can make haroset in almost any way you want. Um, a basic haroset is apples, walnuts, and wine. And that's it, and it's so easy. I like lots of stuff in mine. I love dried fruit, so I put lots of dried fruit in mine. Some people make it with just the dried fruit and no apples. Um, and that's fine too. Some people are allergic to nuts and they don't put nuts in and maybe they put coconut in instead. And that's fine too. All right, so we're gonna put our walnuts in. They're all chopped up. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. Give it a start there with a stir. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of honey. Honey will help keep it sticking together. Yum, 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 yum. And then a little bit of wine or grape juice. It's up to you, moms and dads. That kind of turns it pink, which is fun. A little bit more. And then I'm just going to put in a little bit of that rose water. Oh, it's so beautiful. Such a beautiful, fragrant item to add to your harosa. I'm gonna stir it up. And haroset, when we're having the Seder, haroset is um, significant because it reminds us of, um, it reminds us of when we were slaves in Egypt, when we couldn't go do the things we wanted to do, when we had to build uh, buildings for the Pharaoh. Haroset looks like the mortar in between the bricks. The mortar held the bricks together. And so Horosis holds things together. And what you can do is get a piece of matzah. You put it on the matzah. I'm gonna grab that real quick. I forgot about that ahead of time. Get a little piece of matzah. And oh, there's a little broken one just for me. Perfect. And you can make a little Horosis sandwich. Now, if you do it in the food processor, it kind of gets to be more pasty, and it's easier to put, you know, make a sandwich out of, but it's tasty either way. You can also put a little salt in here if you want to do that. Mmm, I'm going to give this a little taste as soon as I say goodbye. This is how you make a roset. 
Hagsameh Pesach. Happy Pesach, happy Passover. We wish you well, I love you. Shalom, Chavirin. Goodbye, friends. Mm. That's my free baller.